guys, and welcome back to Atom Smasher, a technical mod pack all about, well, smashing atoms and going to space. And we are in the middle of smashing atoms right now. Well, we're actually splitting atoms, if I'm to be truthful with you here. You can see uh, down below, my fission reactor is still ticking over. We are nearly out of fuel, but I have managed to make myself... Oh, no, that's not, that's not the one I wanted. This one over here. Made myself a few more fuel. But you can see we're starting to build a stockpile up of this depleted fuel now. So I thought it might be time for us to go ahead and make a uh, way of uh, dealing with that. So what, what can we even do? If I press the U button here, you can see immediately comes up something called the fuel reprocessor. And it takes our depleted TBU fuel, which I presume is thorium something something fuel uh, and breaks it down into uranium and neptunium for us there so that's pretty good anything over here i want to we can oxidize or melt i'm not i'm not that bothered uh so the fuel, fuel reprocessor nice and simple if i come into my quest book here as well you can see that it is a part of the quest line we need to do now thankfully I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me go through all my uh, all my drawers and f try and figure out what to do and stuff like that because I've already got one sorted out right here. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, whilst at the same time, there's also some other things that need to be done to meet the quest line. Um, do we... Do I get the fuel rods? Do I get the fuel rods or do I get the heart container? I might, I might even just get the heart container there. But we need to make ourselves an electrolyzer and a chemical reactor. Now, this is for oxidizing our fuels. I, I'm not entirely certain as to why. I'm just going to assume it's to make stronger stronger fuels okay so along here we have got the electrolyzer nice and simple electric motor with some solenoids and one of these machine chassis brilliant okay so we got the electrolyzer now over here i had almost everything for the chemical uh let's just find it up here no mm, chemical no that's not quite what i was after well i actually did a lot wrong Okay, yeah, chemical reactor up here, electric motor, bit of glowstone, dust machine sa chassis, and this servo mechanism. You like servo mechanism? I've never seen one of those before. It's alright, I've made one over here, or at least I've set one up over here. Uh, you can see it really simple. I'm, I'm not even going to go explain, it's just like steel and stuff. Bam. Okay, grabbed it. Popped it over here and put it in the bottom, the servo mechanism. Obviously the thing that stirs the chemical reaction. Bang, bang. That, the full Polyakov. Nice, nice. I didn't... Mm, why, why, why's Polyakov got to do with this? I, I know Polyakov from, from the internet, but I've got a feeling I'm missing a serious bit of my nuclear background. Okay, next up, I think I want to steal this machine here. Blah, blah, and this machine down here, the manufacturing, brilliant. We're going we're gonna to take these downstairs and we're going to go try and build ourselves a nice little area. I'm probably going to need that pickaxe on my hotbar, really, knowing how my building goes. Also, put a bar of glass cross so that I can land on it and get the things that I need, because, you know, genius. Uh, I would like to get... Oh, I've only, I've only got a little bit of marble. But we're going we're gonna to use this marble downstairs to make ourselves a little bit of a wall. Because I reckon we can fit in here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to have more blocks. But if we like put, put a small wall here, I'll just do this like this. And we can take the power... Hello. There's a small hole here. There's a small hole. But we can then take the power out of this bat box and run it into our various machines here. Now, what do we have at the bottom? Let's let's get this sorted. We want the manufacturing and the reprocessor. Hold up, guys. And so distractions happen at a front door. That That's all right. This happens to me sometimes. Uh, mail that turns up. But anyway, so we have got ourselves, if we have a look down here, a whole bunch of depleted fuel. You can see that the reactor here is taking the fuel and depleting it as, as expected. So we take it to this full re fuel reprocessor. Let's get that right. And I think we just drop one of these in here uh, like, like that. Yeah, and immediately it starts clicking across. Okay, this is going to be interesting to see what we get out of this. Um, I, I believe... I believe we're getting some solids, some uranium, and some neptunium. Now, the reason that I say it would be interesting to see what we get is because of these two boxes over here. So we've got an electrolyzer at the bottom. An electrolyzer, as far as I can tell, takes water and breaks it down into hydrogen and oxygen. I've, I've not really found anything else that... Oh, heavy water. That I have access to right now. Oh, molten thorium fluoride. Maybe, maybe we could do something with this. I don't know. I would like to see if there's something 
we can do. Uh, but we're going to have to come back to this at some other point because I literally, was looking through, have not found anything that I have access to right now. Almost everything is fluorides or fluoride fuels or stuff like that. Uh, and I've not been... Oh, there's some... No, there's still fluoride fuels. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. If anybody knows what's going on with that, let me know. But right now we can see we've got some uh, tiny clumps of uranium, some tiny clumps of neptunium. Honestly, no idea. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look and try and figure these out. Oh, look, I've made an achievement. Advancement. Sweet Neptune. So, Neptunium 237 appears to be, if I follow this through, depleted Neptunium. Okay, we can we can definitely uh, live with that. 236 and a bunch of 237s. Let's, let's have a look if that's what this is. 236. All right, okay, we turn that into this. Now, we got nowhere near enough right now, but that is a thing we can do with Neptunium to make more fuel. What are you doing there? Uh, so, to make more fuel. In fact, we can make something there, uh, and then some uranium as well. Do I have a craft bench down here? I don't we should we should we should fix that we should put something here a workstation or or something something that fits in that uh, that space there ended up going with a standard workbench here but i've got a feeling we could probably end up making something a little better so there's seven of those seven is not the number i wanted i wanted eight that is unfortunate on one of these let's see if we've got any more in here tiny clumps of neptunium and we'll get the uranium back as well okay that's that's pretty sound pretty sound 237 was the one we're working on right so we'll put that across like this looking good looking good so now i do this right and put this one in here and we get ourselves a fuel pellet okay cool hold shift let's have a look uh burns for 85 minutes okay not quite as good as the other stuff we've made but hey, it's reprocessed or whatever uh 90 rf per tick better than what we're making and 36 heat per tick okay that's that's pretty sound actually pretty sound if you have a look there 18 heat per tick might be uh a little bit Mm. Okay, so this one makes 18 hit per tick. This uh, heat per tick. This makes 36. Am I going to make enough heat? Ah, no, look at this. So if we have a look in the heat generation here, you can see the cooling rate is minus 120. So we can go all the way up to that. All right, awesome. Let's figure out what we can do with the uranium, shall we? Mm, looks like uranium 235 is actually really awkward. We've got a 238 there. So 235 and 238. Okay, that's 233. This is the problem I've got is both of these are low isotope numbers. And we need to mix them with a high isotope number if we want them to have any sort of nuclear fueling. So uh, we're going to have to see if there's something else we can do with this. I think maybe we can decay it into other products. Also, this, this, this would be interesting interesting to do but i don't know if it's something we actually need yeah look we can decay it into lead which is well, you know it's all right um uranium oxide 235 i don't think is going to do us anything okay so the uranium goes in here with all the other bits of uranium look at that we've got a, a fair selection of uranium pieces here we'll, we'll try and do something with those uh neptunium down below i think i'm going to need a new a selection of boxes to keep all my fuels in uh that's that's definitely going to have to be a must there so the next thing we need to do involves the inhabitants of the Ark. Are there only two? Ah, oh, what? Only two of you? That's that's no good. We need to go find another cow. How, thankfully, I happen to know where there's a few around. Yes, yes, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Okay, something a bit weird now. I've gone and got myself a milk jar, and I've set up an anvil up top there. We're going to put the milk jar down, and I'm also going to put down one, two blocks like this. Yeah, I, th I think that's the case. Uh, in this little summoning anvil thing here, I have, oh, a little cow. Uh, yeah, you, you see what's going to happen, right? We're going to break that. Bam! In it goes. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, where, where is my shovel? There is my shovel. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, look at here, you. Ah, oh, that is what I want. No tool for breaking this. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's do that like that and just break it by hand. Bow. What is this? This is a cow in a jar. Yeah, you heard me. A cow in a jar. It is a permanent milk source. Why would I want a permanent milk source? Well, for the same reason that I want a permanent water source. I want to start expanding out my base i want to beyond that also computerize the vast majority of my base so to that end i have been doing a little bit of research into what we can do with things like raw rubber in fact look at the raw rubber and the green dye mixing with some milk to make slime ball now how do we make the raw rubber actually that's pretty 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 easy pretty easy where is the machine i'm looking for there it is let me just literally rip all this stuff out and uh have a have a 
go at arranging these items, and I will bring you back and explain what's going down. Okay, so the first thing that needs to happen is we take logs and put them into this generator here. Do I have a power system that would also work out pretty well for me? Let's go underneath here. I don't think I've got enough power cables. Ah, I need one more. Like, literally one more. Hold on, hold on. Maybe at some point I could rearrange all these cables to be a little bit more... Uh, better set out i'm just looking at the fact that these are full color and then it just stops here that normally means there's a bit of a problem so let's just do that quickly and put that back in so maybe, maybe this one then maybe this one let's see if we can do that you see how that's also empty there does appear to be some flow though so i will take that are we filling up power over here beautiful beautiful okay so there's something else i need back here and i'm going to put it on this side am i going to put it on this side or am i going to put it there i'm, I'm, I'm actually going to put it right there if i come to here Put, get out the, the sink. I also would like one of these basic mechanical pipes. I'm going to end up needing two now that I've thought about it because things have a change from the original design. Can I... Can I get under here? Can I do this without breaking stuff? I can. Beautiful, beautiful. I need to get this <coughs> being a pull. No, no, in, in that little gap there, there is a little gap, a tiny, tiny, tiny gap for me to get in and do stuff. And then I'm going to put this one over this side. It's not for connecting to here. No, no, no. Oh, it's just so small. Maybe I want to put it above. We can connect it via a pipe or something like that. But I now want to get this second. Uh, I've got it on me here. Beautiful. This second pipe, uh, pop it there like that. And then again, I'm going to I'm going to take this back wall out here and go and grab myself another one of those liquid pipes all right and then we got a permanent milk source there i am a super hype for that the next thing i need to do ah uh, i've put this exactly where i would have put that okay all right let's let's break this one let's break this one the planning ahead did not happen very well uh speaking of i th oh, no, there we go i thought we were gonna lose that to the uh the pickup device back there but no we're actually a little bit beyond that uh push pull okay so there goes the milk and then one of these should enable the rubber that comes through to travel this way okay beautiful beautiful we got water in there we've got milk in there Is, are these coming out do i actually need to put this let's let's think about this another way put this here put this here and this here i think that will work pretty well if i now say pull okay brilliant brilliant that's good this should now be making oak wood into blah 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 blah, blah. A little oh it went immediately over now before this can happen i need to go and have a look at something i just realized i haven't actually explained to anybody ever why it is we need the slime balls so uh let, let's let's just take a moment to have a look at the case yes very important very important it's the computer case i'm after and out of all this stuff here it's the uh, printed circuit board i want to talk about so these are relatively simple to make but the grog the grog if we go into there you can see we need a fermented spider eye we need some slime balls bone we have thankfully have a farm for and same with sugar and uh wa water water is just water water is easy enough to get but i'm gonna have to make myself a cactus farm uh, gonna have to make myself a brown mushroom and a spider farm Farm. like wow thankfully i do know where a cave spider spawner is so we can definitely go and deal with that let's just replant these this this is not going to be enough we we definitely need more cactus to be farm somewhere no need a nice little automated farm ticking over in the background it'd be nice if we could get all the others doing that as well Okay, let's witness this first one go through. Definitely can get more green dye, but here we go. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Oh, that's beautiful. Slime balls are a go. So, with that underway, I think we need to go off to our mining area. You guys may or may not be aware, or oh, for starters, that I do not have the, uh, the torches to be going underground. So, let's try and sort that out. But you might also be aware of the fact that there are cave spikes. Oh, that's... That's not what I want. Are we are we so badly out of Oh, it look it looks like we might be. This this is bad. If I just throw those away, I can then pick those up and grab those again. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just want four of these. Yay. Ah, oh, this is the one I moved. <laughs> 
Okay, now is the time of terror. Somewhere in here... Oh, look at these. Yeah, I'll take a bunch of those. Somewhere in here, there is indeed a spider spawner, a cave spider spawner, the most vicious of spider spawners. Uh, in fact, there it is. We can see it down the way, and I am going to have troubles with this. Oh, this is, this is a, a little bit annoying. Okay, let's try and put this under here. Are we ready to watch me die? I mean, that, that, honestly, you guys know this is what's going to happen now, right? Uh, let's search throw a few torches down around so things don't spawn behind us because you know that that would be great uh, there and I'm just going for it now I'm just going for it there's a uh, there and there and I can't do any better with what I've got so I need to turn around and run away right now okay so at some point we need to uh, try and grab a whole bunch of those webs that would be pretty tasty okay can we get in nice and close thankfully nothing spot ah oh, something spawned something did indeed spawn are you just like right in my face there thank you very much okay cool right so we need to somehow get down there and provide ah oh, this this isn't gonna work just just do that. Just, there we go. Okay, brilliant. So we need to somehow get down there and clear out some space so that we can do a few placings of torches. I'm wondering whether we can dig around the outside. I mean, that's what we normally do in these situations, right? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I should imagine it's actually going to work out pretty well for us as long as we remember to put torches down where we are because, man, there is nothing worse than having a cave spider spawn in your little uh, two-by-one hole here. Uh, that, that would be... Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. Uh, I somewhere have a sapphire s shovel. Shovel? I was going to say sword there. It's not. It's really not. Um, okay, so let's start thinking about... Oh, hey, thanks very much. Whether we can poke a hole through here, uh, rip a hole through this, put down a torch over there, and one on that side. That would be pretty cool, thanks. Let's keep pushing down through. I don't know how far we're going to be able to get, but we're going to keep trying. Do I want to make this a bigger hole? Uh, can, can we do that? Oh, we can do this. Okay, does, does this feel safe? No, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Can I put another one of these on the back here? I've got a feeling we've now made this as safe as we can possibly make it. Well, I would say all in all, this is an amazingly efficient spider spawner slash grinder, but uh, things are spawning in flying. That's uh, that's not helpful. Also, mm -mm -mm, get me some experience. I have literally doubled my experience while we've been here. 
Oh, Iron Helm. What? what? Where does that come from? Well, anyway, I'm going to grab me some spider's eyes because we are not done. You can see in my hotbar, I have grabbed some mushrooms and here's the man I stole them off of. Yes, indeed, Forrest has actually got a fair few mushrooms around his area. So I thought I could just uh, go and grab three and he wouldn't really notice. I, I, I doubt he has. If he suddenly comes up with, oh, who's been stealing my mushrooms? Obviously, I'll own it. Well, I'm going to let him know anyway. Oh. Ah, uh, jetpack. Oh, that's, 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 that's real annoying. Oh, I wanted to cross the water with ease and convenience. Uh, ha, ha. Okay, so we're going to put that, that, really? Really? We're not, we're not going to do that, put that there? Ah, oh, wait, it needs to be certain light levels, right? Well, will darkness come along and help me out, or will doing that help? No, okay. All right, so we need to wait for the night to go down. Oh, I bet... Bet Forrest is going to sleep. Perhaps. Look, we ha we have a big dark thing over here, right? Let's let's see if we can use this dark thing to our advantage. Got to remember, I have no jetpack, so if I see a bad guy, uh, my my fleeing options are rather limited. Okay, let's go up the back this way. I've been going around spamming some more torches around, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to find darkness than originally. Uh, let, let's let's put this here. I'm also, also going to take this one down. It's it's just a little bit in my way now. I've got ways of processing that stuff. So, all right, that should now go like this, right? Grow, grow, grow. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, the real question is, can I use this and my... No, no. Or, or veining... Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Ve vein mining is not a thing here. But I can definitely get more mushrooms together okay i'm gonna spend a little bit of time doing this and then we're gonna grab some oh, 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 oh. then we're gonna grab some sugar and i think that's it for the cement fermented pot spider eye the cemented pider eye really low oh yeah neptunian fuel is definitely the way to go even though i've just fired up literally all of my uh, uh, machines and stuff like that just to make sure things are running in fact even a charging up my jetpack here just just more power that I can use more power hype hey hey what have we got here well now we can't kill them with range oh man I kind of I kind of want to kill them but at the same time you know they're just gonna run if I do this right oh did he take a damage I don't know I don't know if he took a damage there let's get down one can I hit him in the head I don't I don't think I can actually hit him in the head like that uh, let's try from here oh I'm, I'm worried that he's gonna be able to hit me okay that's better uh, that guy with the gun there though that's not the best uh, where are we gonna go to fight this guy I mean ideally we want to find somewhere with a g oh man look at all these guys everywhere um, yeah, better. Better. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's take this guy out. Eighty-nine hearts. This is gonna take some time. All right, Enderpearl. Nice. Oh man, that is a noisy, noisy machine. So I've gone and got myself various half stacks of all sorts of items here, and we're gonna try and make ourselves some grog. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm loving that. I've just thought about how I might solve a one of the problems. Oh, hello, bucket. I'll take that, nice. Uh, so I want to make a fermented spider's eye. That's pretty standard Minecraft stuff. We should be uh, good there. Uh, now I'm wondering what happens if I throw all the stuff in there? Does it, does it count as food? Have I finally found a reason for using this? I don't know, I'm gonna try it, though um, I'm not holding my breath. The reason I want to use it is for the sink, obviously. Gr no, no grog. No grog. Uh, let's try also putting this bucket of water in there and see if that's something else. No, okay, so it's obviously uh, an incompatibility issue. That's fine. That's fine. A little disappointing, but fine. So I think what I want to do, and I, I hope you guys will agree with me here, uh, I don't want that. Actually, what I want is a pickaxe. Thanks very much. I'm going to take this one here. Bam. Thank you. And we're going to take it out to the water because I now have an issue. Yes, indeed. I need to try and get 32 buckets of water into this. And I was kind of hoping we could use some machines to do it, but it's not going to work like that. It unfortunately does not work like that. What happens if I do that? Bam. Okay, so it doesn't send the rest up for me, but I can shift click in. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. I thought that was being pretty weird for me for a second there. Uh, so that's that, that's that. Let's try a click and see what we can do here. So we shift click that, back, go, shift click, back. Okay, nice. I might want a whole load of more buckets. Oh, yeah. 
Oh man, I think 16 are gonna do for now. That That is a long, long process. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, uh, once again, back to casing. We wanna see how we make this computer case. This is what I'm working at. Oh, iron fencing. Wasn't there an easier way to make iron fence than steel? I, I, fairly sure we could make it through an extruder of some description but okay well we will uh, believe it when it says that's the only way uh, i need to make this circuit board which is raw circuit board which is clay and green dye as well as a cutting wire so all these things are nice and easy to make Okay, that's eight raw circuit board, nice and easy. I don't know if we need this for anything other than smelting. Doesn't look like it. Oh, open computer's manual. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I think we'll we'll have a proper look through that manual at some point. But we need to cook these down. Uh, the next thing we need to work on: gold nuggets and grog. That's cool. How many of these we get? Eight. Okay, let's grab ourselves eight nuggets like that. Brilliant. Cool. There are more things we need to do. Of a course, though, four iron nuggets. Nuggets are a must. Felt like a long time to get here, but printed circuit boards. Nice, nice. Also, I'm waiting for some uh, steel to be made. You see, I've got four bits there. This is still, like, heating up. So we're going to try an experiment. If I uh, have a look at fence... So, in fact, let's go iron. Um, iron fencing. You can see that we have here. There's an IC2 dot fence, which is pretty good. There's also a tech reborn fence somewhere. I'm being blind. Let's... Uh, Space fence and uh, and have a look. Iron fence and iron fence. All right, this one's made out of six steel, and this one's made out of extruding an iron case. Now. Do any of them work? I don't know. But first, we need to make ourselves a bunch of transistors followed by a single microchip. Oh, I stand corrected. Eight microchips. Uh, I'm now going to put the microchip up there, and we find out whether this, the IC2 fence, will work. The IC2 fence does indeed work. Oh yeah, we have done one of one, two, three. Oh man, many. One of many. One of eight by the looks of it. That's uh, it's a bit of a bit of work. Woo wee, will you look at the time? That episode very nearly got away from me there. That was a bit more of a drop than I thought. And as the sun sets, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to continue building as many computer parts as we can. I want to add further automation to my reactor down there. I want it to like measure how much power I've got, turn off if I've got too much, as well as find out whether I'm online, and probably put in all sorts of rules in case Forrest is online. But I will see you then when we're gonna do that! Bye!